Heck yeah, that's a kilometer you just saw. It's been a long time since I've covered this game, but rest assured, Primeval Horizon has been busier than ever. With that said, a kilometer isn't the only one who's been receiving some love. Since my last video, Lufangosaurus, one of our main herbivores, has been sculpted and received some basic animations and sounds. Lufangosaurus is a generation one anomaly and is considered a generalist brawler with a high skill ceiling. It's planned to have a claw swipe, a tail swing, a body slam, a grapple, and a throw, which sounds pretty awesome. We also have Kulosuchus, Destentrurus, Majungasaurus, Pachycephalosaurus, and Torvosaurus. They're all in the sculpting stage, and Torvosaurus also has a basic skin. You can see a little bit of the size comparison with T-Rex and Ceratosaurus as well as Sparasuchus. The T-Rex that was in my last video's thumbnail actually got a bit of a remodel, and I have to say I do like this one a little bit better. The skin could be improved, but I do like the splash of color that they have on the throat. My favorite thing so far has to be this cutie right here, Samosuchus, who is going to be an AI addition to the game. It's actually so cute that I almost feel a little bit bad for having to hunt it in the future. On the more environmental side, we finally have a nice visual representation of the rift map. I'm glad they're keeping it pretty simple and that there seems to be a lot of water. Let's just hope that it's drinkable. We should be getting a height map soon, which is, for those of you who don't know, basically a 3D representation of how high or low things like mountains and valleys are. Next, there has been plenty of work on the UI elements for the game. I'm showing a couple of them here for you. We've got dinosaur icons as well as main, launch, and customization menus. Concept art is arguably one of my favorite parts of video games just because it shows so much of their potential. This one here shows behavior ideas for Proceratosaurus and Majungasaurus. It looks like they can either be enemies or work together to take down other prey. Proceratosaurus has a toxic bite which will infect players when they attack them. This is going to give them gangrene which is a flesh-eating bacteria and the more they attack you, the more gangrene is going to be secreted in their saliva, making subsequent attacks more toxic. Boss fights are something that not a lot of dinosaur survival games actually have, but the ideas I'm getting from all this concept art just makes it look so freaking cool. I mean, this Sorophaganax boss has little zombie dinosaur minions that you can see here. With Pachycephalosaurus joining the roster, Stegosaurus is now AI but they're supposed to have a pretty similar play style, so this concept art still applies. We also have some drawings for that character customization that I mentioned earlier. Right now, we really only have variations for Ceratosaurus and Lufangosaurus. I almost forgot about these alien concepts. This one is like massive. It's like freaking huge. You can see the T-Rex down at the bottom. But yes, Primeval Horizon is a sci-fi take on the dinosaur survival genre, and will have its own lore regarding these creatures. I know I haven't talked that much about Ceratosaurus, but don't worry, I haven't forgotten it. It's gone through a lot of tweaks and changes, especially to its run cycle, but we're definitely getting a lot more sounds and animations to come with it. Here we have it turning in place at various angles. We got a 90 degree and 45 degree for both the left and right turn. Thankfully, it looks a lot smoother than the previous animation. We just have to see if it slides now in game. Next, we have our active swim. I don't know if this is just the generic swim or if we have like a speed swim and then a slow swim. Then we have a swimming idle animation for those times where you just feel like letting a Dano snatch you up. Serato is also one of the first playables to get multiple models for different growth stages. Here we have our hatchling model, our juvenile model, our adult male model, our adult female model, and our adult male with no osteoderms. We also finally got rendered versions of the backer skin with a couple variations. If you like this skin, you still have some time to go ahead and get it, but just a reminder that it does glow in the dark. So if you're not into that, that's, I can't help you. For something a little bit more realistic, we do have this torn skin, but it's pretty likely that they will update this in the future. This game does have a Discord and YouTube channel, so if my word isn't enough for you to believe in this project, you can definitely go and check them out yourself. I will have their links in my description below. Low. So yeah, get excited and thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, definitely check out some of my other videos. I cover this and other games that you might not have heard of. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.